Hi, Straight Girl, and I'll come back at you with another video, and today we are doing another 2021 NFL Mock Draft. Uh, a lot has changed over the last week. The NFL regular season is done, so... The first uh, 19 picks are where they should be. Um, there's there, there's going to be a lot to change. So let's get into this mock draft. Uh, first pick is, I think, Scotty Trevor Lawrence, quarterback at Clemson. Uh, got uh, one of the best QB prospects we've ever seen. You, you know the deal on that. So Trevor Lawrence to the Jacksonville Jaguars. New York Jets are now on the clock. And I have given them Justin Fields and a quarterback the entire year. But honestly, the Jets' problem is not Sam Darnold. It truly isn't. Their prob J Justin Fields wouldn't do any better in that system than Sam Darnold did. Because Sam Darnold has no weapons and nothing around him. Justin Fields has so many weapons at Ohio State, that's why he looks so much better. So I'll show you where Justin Fields, I think, is going to go. But I think for the Jets, you just get yourself another tackle. You got yourself a tackle last year when you should have gotten yourself a receiver. But Panay Sewell is going to be the pick. Him and Makai Becton will be tackles for the Jets for a very, very long time. So that's what the deal is for the Jets there. It's very, very nice. The Texans pick at number three for the Dolphins. Uh, I think this has to be a receiver. But there are also receivers that slip down the board. But I just think they need receiver too much. The Dolphins have no playmakers on offense outside of Devontae Parker. Mike Isicki's okay. They don't really have a true running back, in my opinion. Miles Gaston's just okay. So I think Jamar Chase to the Miami Dolphins. And now this is where Justin Fields goes for me. To the Atlanta Falcons. He can wait behind Matt Ryan for a year. And he has weapons in Julio, Calvin Ridley. There's weapons there in Atlanta. Like at Ohio State with Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, those guys. So, I think Justin Fields to the Atlanta Falcons is a really, really good fit. And Justin Fields grew up in Georgia. The Falcons play in Atlanta, Georgia. So that's that. There, so that's that. And now the Bengals at number five. I think. I think they need. Uh, they need a line really. They really do, but I think, do you really just reach down the board for a tackle at number five? When you can probably take one in the second round. For this pick, you get yourself a shutdown corner in Patrick Sertan. He will help you out, uh, fix your defense a little bit. He's a shutdown corner, won the Rose Bowl MVP or something. Rose Bowl player of the game, I don't know. But he won that award, and I think Patrick Sertan to the Bengals would be a Really, really nice. Uh, the Now the Philadelphia Eagles. This guy be Micah Parsons all day. They have them and the Browns, I think, have the worst linebacking scores in the league. Yeah, the Packers do as well, kind of. But they, I think the Eagles and the Browns have the worst linebacking scores in the league. And Micah Parsons to the Eagles would make a lot of sense. And Micah Parsons can also rush the passer. The Lions, I know they need receiver, and with a guy like Jalen Waddle still available, it's hard, hard, hard to pass up. But I think, how much longer do you hold on to Matt Stafford? You can't forever. You need Matt Stafford has been the Lions, why they're not like a terrible team every year. And a guy like Zach Wilson can come in, like I said, with the Justin Fields, Sit for the year, learn the playbook, that stuff, and then come in, maybe trade Matt Stafford, something like that. The Panthers, number eight. I think you get a dynamic player like Kyle Pitts out of Florida. Add him to that offense, and that offense will be the best offense in the NFL. Get Maybe get a new QB. You never know. Like Trey Lance, they could also take. Teddy Bridgewater's fine for another year. Teddy Bridgewater, think about it. Christian McCaffrey, Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, Curtis Samuel, Kyle Pitts. That offense would be electric. Adding Kyle Pitts would be amazing fit there. The Broncos, I don't know. I don't think they 
take a chance on another QB. I think I get a QB via trade or uh, free agency. I think this is Caleb Farley out of Virginia Tech. Their cornerbacks are getting up there in age. Their secondaries are really getting up there in age, besides Justin Simmons. But Caleb Farley to the Broncos, I think, makes a lot of sense. The Cowboys. This is an interesting one. I don't know why offense tackles their biggest need, because uh, they have Leo Collins and Tyron Smith, who are both pretty solid there. But I guess it's because they get injured. I don't know. I think they need help on the edge, the Dallas Cowboys. Alden Smith and Demarcus Lawrence are getting up there in age. Quiddy Pay out of Michigan is young. He can come in and play. Uh, but Quiddy Pay uh, is an edge rusher, and the Cowboys just got to get younger on the edge. You can't just have those older guys in on the edge. But I mean, they're playing good, but you just got to get younger. The Giants, this is all day Jalen Waddell. Jalen Waddle is electric for Alabama. When you say Devontae Smith is better than Jalen Waddle, that is not true. Jalen Waddle is better. Jalen Wa- last year, Jalen Waddle outplayed Devontae Smith. This year, Jalen Waddle has not been healthy because he broke his ankle. And Devontae Smith stepped in and has dominated. But I think Jalen Waddle is a really, really good fit for the Giants here, number 11. I get that the Giants need help on the edge. I think they could take Gregory Russo, but honestly, I like the pick of Jalen Waddle too much for the Giants. The 49ers, this has got to be Trey Lance. I think, never mind, this does not have to be, but I think you find yourself a new QB. Trey Lance would be a good fit at QB for the 49ers, which I think that fit right there, it's the same thing. Let Trey Lance learn a little bit. And then he'll develop, then uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, they could trade or cut or whatever they want to do with him. So the Broncos here at number 13, I think they go left tackle. They don't have much there. Trey Pipkins, I don't think is a very good left tackle at all. And Christian Dersaw is a very solid left tackle there for the Chargers. He'll come in and start right away probably. The Chargers... Are considering to build a pretty solid line. They gotta protect Justin Herbert. The Vikings. Uh, I think this has to be defense or offensive line. What would they really use? I mean, they need help at interior defensive line. Their corners aren't that great. I think actually, you know what? I think they take Rashawn Slater out of Northwestern. Move him in to play guard. They don't have very good offensive guards. And Rashawn Slater to the Vikings, I think, would be an excellent fit. The Patriots, they don't have a lot of weapons. And this is just going to be unfair for opposing defenses. Devontae Smith out of Alabama to the New England Patriots would just be unfair. Bill Belichick would use him in whatever he can get. It, that would be a great fit there. Devontae Smith to the Patriots. He would terrorize opposing defenses. The Cardinals at number 16. This has got, I think, it's either J.C. Horn or Gregory Rousseau. I think Gregory Rousseau hurt himself by opting out this year. Uh, but Gregory Rousseau was amazing last year for Miami. And him to the... um. Uh, Arizona Cardinals, they have Chandler Jones, but they don't have much outside of him. And Gregory Rousseau, it would be a really good, really good addition to that Cardinals defense. Now the Raiders, they need pass rush. Joseph Osai is the best pass rusher available, in my opinion. Joseph Osai, out of Texas, to the Oakland, I mean, Las Vegas Raiders. Because they have gotten no pass rush so far this year. The Dolphins, in number 18. This has got to be Jeremiah Wusu koromoa for me. Um, a really solid linebacker for Notre Dame. The Dolphins need to get younger. Need a key building block on defense. Because their, their rebuild has gotten super well. The, last year, they were uh, the meme of the league, basically. And Jeremiah Wusu koromoa And now this year, uh, they went 10-6. Missed the playoffs. Uh, barely. Barely they did. 
because a lot of the different things happened. They had a 90% chance going in yesterday, and then a lot of things happened that didn't work out in their favor. So the uh, Washington football team, uh, Kyle Trask really hurt his draft stock against, you know what? This is not. We're not going to talk about Kyle Trask. I'm going to go Mac Jones out of Alabama to the Washington football team. I think they take Mac Jones. I mean, he has a lot of weapons at Alabama. That's the thing. I mean, he's played great this year. He's. I think he should win. Uh, Devontae Smith's probably going to win the Heisman, uh, knowing that. But Mac Jones would be a really solid player for the uh, Washington football team. The Bears. They need QB, but I think they're going to get a QB in free agency. I really do. I think this is going to be O-line. I think Sam Cotting out of Texas makes a lot of sense here for the Chicago Bears. So, that's my pick for the Bears. The Jacksonville Jaguars. I think this is left tackle, probably. Interior O-line, maybe. Uh, they... Do need def- the Jags need a lot of things. You know what? Why not take yourselves the best player? Uh, Travis Etienne's probably the best player available, or Najee Harris. But I think J.C. Horn to the uh, Jaguars makes a whole lot of sense because the Jags need help uh, on defense still, and uh, J.C. Horn would be a really good fit. Probably one of the best players available. The Indianapolis Colts. Um, I could see them going a lot of these positions. But I think uh, ultimately uh, Xavier Rhodes isn't going to be around there for much longer. So it's Kenny Moore in the slot. And then he can go play Eric Stokes on the boundary, maybe. Probably. So that's the pick there for the uh, Indianapolis Colts. My Cleveland Browns on the clock. Who have made the playoffs for the first time in 18 years. I, I'm very, very happy. Uh, I think this is Zayvon Collins. They still need linebacker. I don't know why it's their fourth team need. Zayvon Collins out of Tulsa would be a amazing pickup for the Browns. The Titans, they need pass rush. Uh, I think I'm going to give them Aziz Ojolari. I give them Aziz Ojolari like every time, but I think Aziz Ojolari to the... Tennessee Titans just makes too much sense uh, because um, the uh, t- Titans, uh, Aziz Ojolari changed the game for Georgia against Cincinnati. So that's the pick. The Bucks. I think they need interior defensive line. Uh, who who's there? Uh, Vita Vea is there. Vita Vea is. I feel like kind of gets injured a lot. I feel like he's been injured this season, but. Aziz uh, and Jay Trefele out of USC can come play for them. Like, Vita Vea, I get that they play in 3-4, but I think Jay Trefele to the Buccaneers would be a pretty good fit there. The Baltimore Ravens. I don't, why is tight end their third need? That doesn't make any sense. They have Mark Andrews. Nick Boyle is solid. He mean he blocks, really, but Ravens. This is just going to be unfair like the Patriots won. Rashad Bateman for the Ravens. They don't really have receivers. They don't get separation that well. Rashad Bateman would just make that Ravens offense unfair to opposing defenses. So I think that's a really, really sad pick. The Jets, I give them a tackle first. I'm not giving them a QB at all. Just stick it out with, um, uh... Sam Darnold. So, what would the Jets do now? I think they go Terrace Marshall Jr. out of LSU. You get Sam Darnold a weapon in this case. I think Terrace Marshall Jr. W- makes a lot of sense there. He's the... uh, What's the receivers looking like? Um, maybe one of the best receivers available. Uh, Chris Olave is pretty solid. Kadarius Tony is a gadget player. I think... Uh, the Steelers now. I think this is Jalen Mayfield out of Michigan. Uh, he just... I, I don't like this. Because it's a Steelers player and a Michigan player on the same team. Just... It just... No. <laughs> I like Ohio State and the Browns. So, 
just no <laughs> so the uh 